Most women will tell you they hold their breath when they do their monthly self-breast exam or when they get a year, yearly mammogram. Well, the thought of being told you have breast cancer is terrifying, and while early diagnosis can lead to a cure, there are still side effects women's face after treatment. Well, tonight in a special medical moment, Maureen tells us about therapy under study right here in Michigan that is helping women with pain they don't often talk about. Women who survive breast cancer will tell you completing treatment can be both stressful and exciting. They're relieved, but often worry about cancer coming back. And there are side effects they must face that can mean more surgery. Now the Center PC is studying a protocol they think will save a lot of women from surgery. Um, I was 45 years old and my breast cancer was found through routine screening. That was six years ago and Tracy Reed Case, who works at Memorial Hospital as a massage therapist for breast cancer patients, was herself faced with losing not one, but both breasts. I had a unique kind of cancer that was what they call multifocal. Hard to image and after her first mastectomy, Tracy was told tests showed she still had cancer. Um, that's why I chose to take the other one off. 47-year-old Sharon Maddox of Elkhart says a neighbor forced her to get a mammogram even though she was going to cancel because of mounting medical bills from her daughter's illness. My insurance wasn't going to pay for my mammogram, so I was going to cancel the appointment, and I went, and they found it. After surgery, plastic surgeons and surgical oncologists can do immediate reconstruction using a saline or silicone gel-filled implant, or put in a tissue expander and gradually fill the breast. Sharon decided to go with the expander. Tracy got implants. Dr. Ronald Downs performs a lot of reconstructive surgery and says the psychological benefits are important, but there are side effects with reconstructive surgery. There's a whole gamut of things that these women are facing. They're facing, from an external standpoint, they're facing the, the trauma of the surgery. All of these surgical approaches leave behind scar tissue and, and potential problems. And that's where relief comes in for Tracy with a massage therapy protocol under study at the center. Using tools developed by a tool and die maker for what's called the Graston technique, Ball State first researched Graston for sports medicine. Doctors and therapists at the center are finding it works to break down scar tissue in the breast. To help mobilize soft tissue, help with the healing process. We know that massage is good for blood supply. We know that it's good for scar tissue. So if we can employ massage techniques in and around the reconstructed area or even the donor site, we can really expedite healing. Therapist Barb Dittner says the tools make all the difference. We have found that if we perform massage manually using the tools, it causes micro trauma, which helps to break down and restructure that tissue. For Tracy, who thought she was facing another surgery, the Graston therapy has meant all the difference in the world. You would think it would hurt, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It actually feels good like your body needs it. Currently the only place in the country using Graston for breast cancer massage, Dr. Downs believes it's working. They're getting tremendous relief from it. Sharon hasn't had to face issues with scar tissue like Tracy has yet, and maybe won't. So in the meantime, she's facing her cancer diagnosis with humor. Thank you, Mo. As far as the Graston protocol at the Center PC, Dr. Down says they will be using it on other patients. He hopes to have his study published later this year so that women across the country might also benefit from much-needed relief.